welcome to another episode of Better Than Yesterday Podcast. I'm Skip Jennings. And I'm Coach KJ. Get ready to change your life. What's up, y'all? What's going on? Checking in. This is the Coach KJ. I'm here along with who? <laughs> who am I with? Skip Jennings. You know who you with, man. Oh you know who you God. with. Skip Jennings. <laughs> the What's magical. Going on? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. It's been a it's been a good week. Um, just taking a little downtime. This is the, my week, my vacation week. What is that called? <laughs> Staycation, hanging out. <laughs> um, taking a couple days off where I don't want, I'm not teaching anyone how to do a step touch, a downward facing dog, or um, a namaste. I'm not teaching Nothing. Okay. Not even <laughs> picking up a dumbbell. Where to where to take it? Where um, to put it? No, and I, I'm not picking up a dumbbell or where to take it or where okay. to go. Because you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I'm resting the body. It's good to take a break, yeah. You know, I guess it's okay. <laughs> I guess it's okay. Oh man. Let me ask you, last week you were beating folks up. How you doing this week? <laughs> oh, I am not beating folks up anymore. I am saying super fantastic. Woo! Super so fantastic. fantastic. Oh my Super goodness. fantastic. My 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 glutes are on fire. Ooh. I've been squatting heavy and deadlifting, <laughs> yeah. but I also have been doing a lot more mobility stuff. So I'm starting to feel really good, man. Yeah. The body is feeling a okay because sometimes it get a little a little creaky. How's your wife doing? Uh, my wife is fantastic. A guy got a bone to pick with her. What? I asked her. I saw her in the gym the other day. I said, "Gee, you've been listening to the show." She goes, "I've only listened to one episode." I went. Really? <laughs> she better catch up. She better go on on demand. That's why they created on demand for black women. <laughs> who too busy, who got a career to do, who can't who can't show up to, to fight. I'm just kidding, Kenyatta. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not nah, you better yeah, watch yeah. on demand. You better listen on demand. <laughs> beat her up, beat her oh up. My I have God. nothing to say about that one. I am <laughs> out of that. I am out of that. Well, y'all, today we are talking about Superheroes. This is the superhero <laughs> show. It's da, a superhero. Da, da, da. Dun, da, 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 da. Remember Underoos? Did know. you have some? Um, no. No. Man. No. My you. mama would not. My mom is like, you just give you buy us the Hanes, <laughs> Tidy Whities. That's it. The 20 in the pack. And it wasn't even Hanes. <laughs> it was another brand. It wasn't even the brand under Hanes. Oh. It was a brand under, under, oh. under Hanes. You know, it was uh, that, that generic brand that had no label. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. You know those brands, right? Uh, I do know those yeah, brands. Yeah, so I, I didn't have under rules. I, I didn't have my under rules. On. Oh my god! So, oh my goodness. Um, but we're talking about everything superhero, and we're we're going to actually, you know, we're going to get into superhero comic books, and and Comic Con was a couple of weeks ago. We're going to talk a little bit about movies, but um, we're going to get deep and down into how to become your own superhero. What do you think about Ooh. that? Ooh, I love it. Yeah, oh, I love man. man. And you know what? That I mean, if you think about it, everyone that goes into the gym, yeah, they have that in the back of their mind at some point, especially guys. Yeah. Oh, I want, I want to be. <laughs> and where their voice, the octaves in their voice change. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be. What gym do you work man. in? Where's your gym? <laughs> oh, you work in West Hollywood, no, California. Okay. No, well, let's not talk about those two. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a whole, a whole different. Group. I'm not even going to go there. A whole See, I'm, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be politically correct. Okay, that's I am all not good. Bill Maher. All right, I know. Right, check it out. Check it out. But um, seriously though, but uh, when did you fall in love with uh, superheroes? I fell in love with superheroes. Um, I have to say, um, it was. I can't remember how old I was, mm. but it was the Incredible Hulk. Really, the Incredible Hulk was it, man. That was that was me. I was I was I'm gonna be big and green. Mm. He had the traps. He had the forearms. You know, and that's when I also started learning about bodybuilding a little yeah. bit later. You know, and then yeah. realized that Lou Ferrigno was the Incredible Hulk. I was like, oh my god, you the Black Hulk. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna call you Black Hulk yeah. this hour. I'm gonna call you the Black Hulk. Yes. Really? Yeah. Well, there was a Gray Hulk. I, well, there was a Gray Hulk, but I was not. I, I couldn't get with I couldn't get with the Hulk because he, he like he just mumbles. He didn't he uh, 
Say two, three words. I just was not a Hulk fan. I just was not. Okay, well, who was who was your? My, my crew was um, X Men. I grew up on the X Men comic books. Um, I used to collect X Men comic books, um, watch the cartoon, and I was already an adult. But I kept. I think once you do comic books, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I will watch a cartoon in a heartbeat yes, right sir. now. I will go to the Disney Channel shout out or Disney um, X and watch watch the the new. Um, um, uh, X Men. I love everything X Men, but I, I love. Um, and this is the big debate. I'm gonna ask you now: DC or Marvel? Marvel. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> but I, I'm DC saying. right now is coming up with some incredible things. Well, man, I mean, with Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was the jam. I know. I. You oh. know. It was so good. It was you know so what? Good. It made up for Superman versus Batman. Oh, no, no, no. See, okay, we got to fight now. I love that. Did I, you? Well, because if you go to the older editions of the comic book, it is really dark like that. Yes. And it's really dark, and it's really... a Superman and Batman become these almost um, anti-heroes. They yes. become these this is uh, true. really uh, these and I love those. Those are comic books that spoke to me. So I was riding with that the the um with with the Man of Steel. I love that, and I love when when it was Batman versus Superman, and I loved where you know all all that elements. It felt really dark. I you know I actually remember the comic when it came out mm -hmm. when it was Batman versus Superman yeah. and the whole apocalypse and yeah. everything else. You know, I, and I love the darkness. Mm -hmm. I'm just, in terms of the actual movie, I thought they did a great job. One, it was ben a Affleck, setup, though. I'm okay. Oh, and no, I get the, Ben is a great Batman. Oh, oh we're going to go head to head. Gonna, man. I like Ben as a. I, you know, okay. You know, I'm spoiled after Christian well, Bale. Okay, well, oh, oh whatever. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. Watch the next round. We get the Justice League. Yes, we're gonna see where where that's gonna be a story for Ben. It depends. Yes, it will be. It, it will definitely will be. Um, I thought uh, I did think though that uh, what's his name play Superman? Um, uh, Cavill, right? Henry Cavill. I thought he's phenomenal. Yeah, no, he is. He, I, I, I think he he's is great. Superman. He is great, and, and and everyone thinks, well, he's not dead. You know, y'all know he's coming back for the he's Justice Superman. League. He's Superman. He's he a little son. Die. He's good. Little, little vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> but what Wonder Woman the introduction to Wonder Woman was so dynamic it was inspiring to me it was super super inspired not just to put a uh, pun on the name super but it was super inspiring she is woman. fine she is fine she, she is and she fine. old she, I didn't realize how old she was. What, the actress or Super or Wonder in, Woman? In Wonder Woman. Okay. In the comics. <laughs> the actress, no, of course. She's just gorgeous. She's but I just mean, gorgeous, I, I yeah. never realized that yeah. Wonder Woman was that yeah. old. I mean, well, I knew Wolverine from the Marvel was very right. old, but uh, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. I, no I mean, idea. she's been around since, you know, the creation of comic books, and it's great to, this is true. Great to know that. But we, we're definitely going to get back into this debate because we have a lot more to debate. But. Um, superhero films. Why do you think they're so popular right now? What do you think we get from 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 watching? I I know what I get, but what do you think that there's something that we're getting as a society, mm -hmm. something that we're getting in in the wanting to transform our lives. That's right. And it is I call I I think it's an inspiration. Um, when we sit there and we watch the superhero defeat the super villain, and they have a chiseled body. Yes. Yes, and I think also the idea of the level of immortality that comes mm. with them and the ability to be able to go way past, I'm not just going to get to 65, 70, 75. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look this way if I take care of myself. I look mm -hmm. a certain way, and I want to be something that's way mm -hmm. greater than you know uh, uh, just me going to the gym and working out. I want to mm -hmm. be this going to the gym and working out. Right. I want to fly. <laughs> I, I want to run at top speeds of uh, Sonic Boom. You know, right. I want 
this extra. To be stronger, better, to yes. be more fit, to be yes. more exciting. Bill Maher had this rant on. I watch Bill Maher every week. And he had this rant on about we have too many superhero films. And I have to give him a pushback and completely disagree because I believe with all the crap that we have going on right now politically and all the stuff that's happening around the world right now and us versus them and this and this and this, we need the superheroes that's going to stand up for and say I'm standing up for justice. I'm standing up up for right. Because at one time, Mm. one of my superheroes was the president of the United States. Wow. I didn't even care one. I mean, there were there there are great presidents um, that I've always looked up to, up to. Um, there's some not so great, but this president that we have right now is no longer a superhero. For oh, me, no. in my eyes, it's like he's a super villain, and he does not inspire me. Number one, he doesn't inspire me how he looks to work out. He doesn't inspire me how he how he um, conducts his activities in the White House as being honest and trustworthy i have no more respect for for the president scary but mm-hmm. very true is it's it true so scary. he's like the anti-hero yeah i mean you look at the president as no he's not even an anti-hero i'm gonna pull that back he's a he's a super villain he's not even a super <laughs> villain he's a snake oil salesman <laughs> um it's it's just that you yeah. looked at the president whether you voted for him mm-hmm. or not as this person said wow he rose to the absolute power of supremacy. Like he is mm-hmm. the, 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 he's the quintessential mega man. Mm-hmm. You know, he is it. Like, mm-hmm. how do you get to that point in your life where you're graduating to like, I'm going to be it. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm the it man. So is he inspiration? Do you feel like he's inspiration in, 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 in a negative way? Um, teaching people how to get up into the level you get by using negative um, tools. Yeah, definitely, definitely. He's <clears throat> he's made uh, a lot of people uh, believers in wrong versus mm. believers in what could be good or what is right or what is just, which is great, like what um, John McCain being able to come back and wow. say and give the thumbs mm-hmm. down and you realize... That's a hero. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Man, standing up for healthcare. Yeah, served in the military, went into was a POW, mm-hmm. has gone through that to build himself into a better man, represent his country as a maverick, and then staying. But at the same time, he's this person. He's a Republican, whether you're Republican or Democrat. Mm. He stands for what's right. Mm. That is a hero to me. So uh, you know. Uh, McCain gets uh, the first superhero stamp. Kaboom! You get the first superhero stamp. I'm mad that I can do uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was truly, truly amazing to see um, him come back and stand up for right. Yeah. Stand up for right, man. That was awesome. Um, so, even our government officials can be somewhat of our own superhero or be a superhero for us, but there's something that's within us that taps into that place of, um, of of inspiration. What is it? What is it when we see a superhero? What is that inspiration? What 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 takes us there? That's a very good question because I I know that uh, for what I saw in growing up, you know, growing up in the hood, not mm-hmm. hood, the hood. hood I should say hood adjacent. <laughs> you know, I, oh, I love that show. <laughs> I love big. Shout yeah, out. Oh my guy is great. I love that show. Um, you know, you, there weren't a lot of men in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's some, quite a few, but the, you know, my father was in my life, but he was always around. Just being able to see that individual as this strong, powerful character and say, I, I identify with that. I, I want to be strong. I want to be capable of abolishing this wrongdoing here and feel great here. And 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 then people won't really know who I am when I go back to the mild, mild manner to me. <laughs> but all that is within me because I've built myself up to this new this underlining greatness. So Ooh, you know what? That deserves a applause. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank there you very is, much. There it is. Superhero thunder and lightning. There it is. You know. <laughs> 
Oh man. <laughs> I'm playing with the sound system now. <laughs> <laughs> Having way too much fun. Having way too much fun. <laughs> but in that space of actually, okay, shut up. You done. That was the water. That was Aquaman. Aquaman. Man, that was Aquaman okay. going down, going down the sink there. Um, <laughs> in that space of when you lift, are you in your mind with Superman? Are you or or, or or the Hulk? Are you feeling that energy? What are you feeling when you lift? Oh, oh, I'm there. Are you there, really? Oh, I'm, I'm fired up. Excuse me. I'm fired up. <laughs> I said it earlier. I'm fired up. I I'm love ready it. to go. You I, fired up, ready I, to go. <laughs> I, 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 I go for it, you know? I, I love it. I don't think anything about it. Just go for it. I'm like, this is mine now. Mm. I take it. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. It, can't, it takes me back. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little kryptonite, but I take it. <laughs> How can our audience be their own superhero? Seriously, because we, we're having fun right now with the sound effects and talking about our, our comic books, but there has to be a place with inside of yourself that you become your own superhero. Yeah. 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 What do you identify with? What, yeah. what will the outcome of becoming that superhero look like for you? Right. What are you going to do? What are you going to serve? Mm. Who are you going to be of service to? Wow, that's deep. That's you know, deep. It has it has to be beyond just a strength because the thing about superheroes that they all fought was their own mental strength. Mm -hmm. You know, they had to fight past just their power to figure out why am I here? Right. Who am I good for? Am right. I of service or am I gonna take? That's what became the, either the the uh villain or the superhero. Oh, so you know, true. So Am I gonna serve or am I going to take? Yeah. Hmm. But after you, um, I love that saying. My mom used to say that, and I think it's biblical. I need to go back to my Bible. Um, but what is given much is required mm. type thing. So once you, and I realized that when I got healthy, I realized that I wanted to help other people be healthy. Mm. So you're a superhero. Superhero. That's number two. Superhero, number two. Skip. Superhero. Uh, superhero. Number number two. Um <laughs> What are some of the things that qualities of superheroes that you connect with? Um, for me, it's uh, to the ability to foresee. Mm. Um, I um, I like the idea of service mm -hmm. uh, because of what I do as a trainer. You know, as one of my clients said not too long ago, I'm a um, uh, what do you call it? Um, what is it when you uh, you work for a living, but you know if you're not working, you're uh, if you're not working, you're not earning. Mm. What do they call them? Um, uh, um, there's a term that's an old term. Ah, I'm drawing a complete blank on it. And mm. He said just the other day it was so funny, and I said, "But you serve everybody. You service to everybody. You go well beyond the call of duty as a as a uh, doctor." Mm. Yeah, you you go you go see people in the hospital when you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not a, that's not required. Yeah. You're required yeah. to take them take care of them when they come to your office. He was mm. like, yeah, but you know, it's just it's my duty. That's what I do. I'm so, like, are doctors superhero? Doctors are superhero. Let's give a hand clap for the doctors. Oh man. Oh, we're going to give them a high five. They come running down the lane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoop, whoop. Oh, doctors are superheroes. Oh, doctors are superheroes. I'm teachers. Teachers is my superhero. Teachers Qualities is of them. teachers. I think that I've learned more in fitness, in, um, in, in following people that I admire. Um, who's been doing this game for a long time and watching them and 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 being in, in places like my friend Amy Dixon or Jay Belonic or or Jules Arney, a few people that I've admired all my life and they've been my greatest teacher. They've been my superheroes helping me to get to that next level in my mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. You know, so teacher superheroes, teacher, teacher, superheroes. Can we get a clap for them? <laughs> Give them a clap. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs>
<laughs> no, they're, they, you know what? I, yeah. I, I know those people, they're, they're phenomenal, but their ability to pull you in mm. and saying that you can be one of us. Yes. You are one of us. Yes. We're just going to, sh- not even saying you could be, you are one of us. We're just going to give you a couple extra tools. Mm. And matter of fact, what's your input? We like to hear because mm-hmm. we want to become a better league mm-hmm. of teachers. Ooh. Uh, how can we all come together? The Justice League. The Justice League. That's right. <laughs> the Justice League. The, that is the way Who's you your, grow. Who was your first? I know you started over in West Hollywood, Equinox. Mm-hmm. Who was one of your first teachers you took over there? You remember? Can you think back that far? Mm. Can you have a good remember? No. memory? <laughs> did you take Paul Katami? Um, I, I did not even take a class. Really? Nope. I was just a trainer on the floor. You were a trainer on the floor. I was a trainer on the floor. Yeah. But what happened? You didn't take classes? No. I was too busy trying to ramp up. That's true. (laughs) It's it's tough. It's tough over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I went for that training, and Paul Katami, he was like, oh, let's see how he fits the bill. And when I said, when I I tell you I took over, I literally took over that class. Like, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Right. This is how it's going to go. Right. We need to fix this. This is what we're going to do. What I learned about teaching class is, one, is me teaching a class because that is their class. It's not so my class. So who taught the training? Who was the training? Who was the uh, Paul Katami. I can't remember. Was it Amy? Was it Amy and Paul Katami? I think it may have been. Wow. I think it may have Until been. there. Was and it Whip? Then, it was Whip. That was the very first class. That would be that would be Amy Dixon and Paul Katami. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, uh, you're teaching Saturday morning. <laughs> and I was taking over a class. Right. So there was supposed to be a bunch of angels. And that's the hardest thing to do. Yeah. To show up and, and inspire once you're trying to step into someone else's shoes. That's tough. Yeah. Tough and game. We're talking within a month and a half. I was averaging 30 to 40 people. That's good. Yeah. You, what we call the natural. Some of us had to work, well... It wasn't me, but some of us. <laughs> <laughs> some of us have to work extra, 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 extra hard just to uh, get a class and keep on rolling. But okay, so who do you take now? Do you take classes now? I don't really have a lot of time. Oh, for dude, I, really? I, I don't. I don't. Okay, that's honestly. okay. I, that's honestly, okay. I do not have a lot of time to take class. <laughs> I, I used, when I had time, I used to go to um, love it or hate it. I used to go to a CrossFit gym, Ooh. and I used to go to a CrossFit. And I shout out to them because love those guys to death. Dogtown. Mm, I know Dogtown. I love Over in Culver City? Yes. I know Dogtown. Yeah. Big one. Oh, and they... Ooh, it they, used to be on Washington they, and Los Angeles. Yeah, and they they work out in the parking lot. Yeah? Oh, no. Oh, my I'm goodness. bougie. I'm, I'm bad and bougie. Yeah. Um, I don't... Mm. No, I need my... <laughs> I'm just messing. <laughs> I'm just messing. I, let's just put it this way. I have preferred places I like to take classes. Okay. Now, you taking CrossFit, which is already hard as hell, and you putting outside... Which is hot as hell in LA, and then you you got cement, which is hard as hell. Uh uh-uh, uh, just no. I was trying to be a superhero. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I mean, it. there was indoor outdoors. CrossFit, no joke, yo. CrossFit is no joke, and um, I like CrossFit for what it does. It gets people going. They feel stronger than they've ever done, and it's good. Um, I don't know if it's always the best practices, but it's good. It's a uh, good, good, it's, it's pretty made. Tell me. Set me straight, brother. Okay. This Set is, me straight, brother. Set this me is straight. my deal. Okay. CrossFit. I, I don't think it's CrossFit. Here we go. CrossFit. Here we go. I don't think it's CrossFit. Yeah. I think it's the people that teach CrossFit. <gasps> I think you go to certain boxes that are not educated. They are, they may have been somebody that has a little life transformation. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> We but, call that church, y'all. Yeah. He, <laughs> Coach KJ, we just call him Minister K, KJ knows, yo. Yeah. Go ahead, tell the truth. Uh, no, I, I believe that yeah. it comes down to their education as yeah. coaches. And yeah. a lot of coaches, they just read whatever they can find and they'll put out whatever exercise they yeah. can find and just try to make you sweat and go hard mm-hmm. as opposed to programming mm-hmm. the classes, say, these are your, this is how you need to regress, you mm-hmm. need to progress. Mm-hmm. Every Everybody's not on the same page, mm-hmm. but to work in a capacity where you are able to advance in any at many different levels, strength, conditioning, mm-hmm. as well as mobility and flexibility. Mm-hmm. Dogtown offered all that for me. Yeah, Dogtown's no joke though. I took a class over there once. 
<laughs> Mind you, I said once, one time, one uno. That's all it took. Um, no, no, no. I, I, and I, I seriously, I'm joking here because I love. I know a lot of my good friends actually go to CrossFit. I know a lot of people that actually have two memberships. They do have the club that we teach at in CrossFit. I really um, honor them because I had never thought people worked out so hard until I saw CrossFit on uh, on television. And I saw, um, um, you know, you know, speaking of superheroes and people working really hard, I like watching the strongman competitions on ESPN. Yes. That's like, they're the living superheroes right there. Yes. And do you watch um, American Ninja? Yes, I know <laughs> no one joke. of them. No joke. Oh, really? Yes, Ben Medlick. He, he goes as Tarzan. Oh, yeah. Tarzan, he's a good friend. Very good friend. He is amazing. Amazing the things he can do. I think physically, American Ninja and Ninja and the Spartan crew, I watched that the other night. Um, I think they're like the closest to the physical superheroes that we look for. Yeah. Carrying logs and we'll cross water and stuff. I'm like, well, that's that's the that's one of the beauties that I liked about CrossFit was, it, I think what happens is people get close to CrossFit because, you know, when we watch sports, football, even strongman, this guy's way over here. Mm-hmm. You know, he's so beyond mm-hmm. the normal Joe with CrossFit. Guys like you and I, within a year, year and a half, we may not necessarily be on TV. But we might be doing competitions. Yeah. We have we have a little bit of closeness. And it is very superheroish to be able to have the endurance to mm-hmm. run, to be able to lift heavy load, mm-hmm. and be able to do gymnastic movements. Yeah. That's yeah. freakish. Yeah. I'm going to walk 100 meters, and then I'm going to deadlift 400 pounds? Yeah. That's sick. No, that that's very sick. Another, another show that really shows superhero-type feats is uh, Survivor. Yes. Those physical competitions, I watch them and I'm going, wow. Under depletion. Under depletion. And I'm going, wow. I, that just, it is truly inspiring to watch these shows and watch them do that and climb mountains and stand on top of a log in the middle of the ocean for <laughs> uh, a long, long time. That is really inspiring. Yeah. I don't know if I'm inspired to, to go be on Survivor. But I am in, I'm in, am inspired of holding my my um, tree pose a little bit longer. <laughs> I've been watching Survivor, watching them stand on the on the, the the log and trying to hold balance, and I'm going okay. While, while I'm watching this, I think I hold tree pose <laughs> <laughs> until commercial break. Hey, right, right, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. If you're just tuning in, you can, you're catching the middle of this. We're talking about the superhero show, everything superhero, but we're really getting down to the brass tacks of motivation, inspiration, and getting ourselves going and keep going physically, mentally, and spiritually. Um, we we really got deep into the the physical, but the the mentality. What do you think the the mental mentality of a superhero is? What do you think that mind is? The superhero mind, the mind of a superhero. That's my next book. Don't don't steal it. Don't steal my title. Why'd you? I just gave what? it away. The mind of a superhero. What? what? <laughs> Damn. Oh, I'm copy- copyrighted. Already done. You can't have it, yo. You can't have it. <laughs> Man, the mindset the of mind, a superhero. The mindset of a superhero. What do you think that is? Man, the mindset of a superhero is, is uh, one, is being able to understand the level of power that they have, but at, at the same time be able to pull back to say, I'm not just going to exploit it. I'm going to, I'm going to attain it, help, get out there, do what I can to help, and be the best person I can to help. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know I mess you up, right? <laughs> so you have to be able to say, when do I pull back? How do I, how do I uh, give? Give more of myself and and prepare myself to to uh, help as many people as possible mm-hmm. without uh, without just taking over. Mm. But okay, so but in terms of our our our, our clients and people who are listening, mm-hmm. what's that mindset that they can tap in with themselves? Man. That mind of a superhero. Man, you are capable of anything that mm-hmm. you put your mind to. Stop mm-hmm. playing. Stop playing. You came mm-hmm. to me for a reason. Stop playing. Yeah. I'm not that Get it guy. done. Get I'm it not, done. I'm not a rep counter. Fearless. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make you Strong, as fearless. Powerful. Mm-hmm. 
You can do anything. Yes. I had a client, I have yeah. to say a story, yeah. that bench press his body weight for five reps. What? And he's 195, but gets, this is the, this is the, this is the good part right here. Was cleared from the doctor for cancer in uh, January. Wow. Could not move. Testosterone, none. Six months, seven months, bench press his body weight for five reps. The beauty of it is because he's so cool. What, he what, looked at what? me and he's like, uh, okay then. <laughs> what, <laughs> that was his, his name. Answer. What's his name? Dr. Lionel Hunt. Dr. Lionel Hunt, you are a superhero, brother. Let's give him a little crowd yeah. shout out. <laughs> oh yeah big time big time <laughs> y'all you know I just found the, the <laughs> I've lost my mind over oh, the God, sound new, effects new I just toys. found new toys lost got the sound mind. effects okay I'm scared so, that is so awesome though damn wow yeah. Yeah. Wow, huge, yeah. huge. That is inspira inspiration for me. Can never, ever, ever complain about doing any type of reps when you think about a story like that. You think about a story like that. That is huge. It stays with me. It stays with it, you. It goes, it goes with me to the gym. Wow. Yeah, wow. It, go, it goes with me to the gym. I just uh, saw a great story about a, um, he was Olympic, uh, I think it was high jumper. And he did a backflip and he broke his back. Just playing, doing a backflip. And he said to his fiance, you know, I don't think he made it to the Olympics. I got to figure out that story. Next show, I'll have that story. But um, he actually told his wife, I'm going to walk you down the aisle. And um, two, a week ago, he walked his uh, fiance down the aisle. So it was the Olympic dream came true mm -hmm. for him, Olympiad. He was just doing a backflip and he broke his his spine mm. and he said okay so that's my next thing is okay the olympics might be gone but i'm not out mm. now and that's what i love about superheroes who do that man they might get beat up they might get their butt kicked by the supervillain, but they get back up and they go yeah. okay I, because, i'm not out because they have an inner power yeah that digs a little bit more than just the physical because you know superman ain't dead no you know Superman ain't dead. Superman you know Superman. Yeah. You know Justin Lee, he probably pop up in the very last, what, 15? Well, guess but, what? But, 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 but. He gonna come back with that black suit on. Oh, that's true. That's right. You go back to the like comic book. Dad. Spoiler alert. Spoiler <laughs> alert. He does. In the comic book, he does come back with the black suit. Oh, my God. Oh, remember my that's, God. That's right. That, I remember his that. His father. Remember, remember that's that. what they were on the planet. So Hulk is your favorite superhero. You don't, you don't, you not like Superman is not your absolute. Who do you think if it was a fight between Hulk and Superman? I mean, it's always gonna be Superman. It's always gonna be Superman. It's always gonna be Superman. It's you, always gonna be you, Superman. You, you, you can't refuse it's Superman. He's a, be beast. Superman. He's a beast. Yeah, six, He's a beast. Was he six? Uh, technically, in the comic books, I believe he was six four, two hundred right. and forty pounds, and he still. He's only unstill when yeah. kryptonite's around. Yeah. What? What are you going to do with that? Well, I'm waiting for the next... Okay, here's the truth. I uh, Listeners might not know this, but I am a superhero TV junkie. So on Monday nights, there's Supergirl, CW. I watch, <laughs> Super, I watch Supergirl. <laughs> on Tuesday night, it is The Flash. And then after the flash, it is um, Legends of Tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, it's Arrow Night. Oh my God! I well, you know, I do. I record it, Ooh. and then I have like a, a little time, and I'll binge watch it. So times it might be four super super girls in a row. But then the sci-fi they have um, Krypton. It's coming out in 2018. It's 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 the prequel to before Superman gets to Earth. I'm like I'm like. Ah. Oh, DC is not playing. Uh, DC is not playing. DC is coming like hard. Um, um, there's a new X Men show that's coming out. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be so good, and that's Marvel. And then um, I am, um, I love um, Agents of um, um, Shield. Shield. I love okay. Agents of Shield. That is, and the Avengers. So I'm like anything. My best friend Bill. I'm always going. Okay, he's like, you ready to go? Because whatever. So <laughs> we on like not even opening night. Mm -hmm. We are. 
the night before it really officially opens. Like some places in LA, you can get on Thursday night before it opens on a Friday. Mm-hmm. I can go to the Thursday night. Do you? Really? I do. And I and I have a good friend, um, Max, who used to take me to a lot of the premieres for different things okay. that because um, Disney owns um, Marvel. Yes. Correct. And um, so it will be a Disney premiere, and he's invite me, and I I've seen um, I've seen um, 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 different movies that come out uh, at uh, different Thor's. He's taken me to. I've got one he ta- took me to it was one of his best ones. I think it was the second Thor. And then I've seen um, Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one before it came out, before it was a huge hit in a premiere. I also saw um, the Avengers. I, I have been treated to some super because I that's I live for it. If I if I had one genre that I could watch for the rest of my life, it would be superhero now because what, it inspires me. Now, which superhero would you be? Um, if I could be, and that's a good question. Um, I I got another question for you after this. If I could be any superhero, um, be Superman. It'd be yeah. Superman. 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 Got it. Superman. 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 And you be the Hulk. I will be the Hulk. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so just, we got to take all superheroes out of it. If you can have any superpower, what would it be? Um, well, you only get you only get one though. I got you. I got, you get I one. Got you. you got this. One. You, got, you get one. Uh, I will be able to fly. Fly? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? I what do you think I'd be? What do you think? I, what do you think? What do you think my superpower would be? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, see the future. Nope. What? Keep guessing. Oh man, come on. Come on, keep guessing. <laughs> Dude, come on, do it. Um ability to uh have X ray vision? Nope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we made a steal? Nope. Um Okay, you done. You ain't got it. You got it. It would be super strength. Just super strength? Super strength. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it'd be super strength. Running through doors, lifting stuff. And then if you have super strength, you can actually jump from here to there. Super strength, man. It's like Jessica Jones. Well, you, you know what? Yo, know, Jessica Jones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and Luke Cage. Well, that was the reason why I really identify <laughs> with, with uh, the Hulk. Yeah. Because he jumped so far. <laughs> Like this man jumped from the ground. He could. He could. The plane. He could. He could. What's on your agenda for um, superheroes that are coming out? What do you, uh, shows? What What do you want? What do you want to see? Uh, Black Panther. Black Panther. I'm really looking forward to seeing Black Panther. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, the new Thor. Okay. And I'm also looking forward to seeing what Marvel does to pull all the X Men, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. All that together. That's Infinity the, War. The, yeah. Coming up. Yeah. Avengers Infinity War. I'm really looking forward to see how Netflix takes... Um, they had successful... Three successful. One kind of not so successful one to bring okay. together. Because I love Daredevil. love yeah. Daredevil. love Jessica Jones. Luke Cage, unapologetically black. Luke Cage, black superhero. Yes. Kaboom. And then they kind of dropped the ball a little bit with, you know, fist. this... They kind of dropped it. I I don't know. I I, I didn't hate on it. Yeah. Some some of y'all hated on it. Some yeah. of y'all were online going, I did, couldn't even finish it. it. Was so bad. I was like, finish it. It's going. It's setting us up. You got to go through the journey. Go through the journey, haters. Go through the journey. Go through the journeys. Have you ever been to Comic Con? No. That's on my bucket list. I think I'm trying to, but. It's just, I, I'm a little bit of a techie, but you got to, like, be on your game for Comic-Con to get tickets. Yeah. I am not that much of a techie. Yeah. I, I, I think you have to be on your game, and you have to have a plan when you get down there. Like, oh, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And once you get the because ticket, you, you can't much. just stop there. Then you got to go make sure you get the hotel. And you got to make sure you get how you can, you know, all the... Because you don't always get into what I understand is I've never been to Comic-Con, but everybody who gets to Comic-Con doesn't always get to get to the panels. So you have to make your way around the oh. panels and try to get into the panels. So maybe oh we need to take a trip down there. Yeah. We do a, we do a podcast and do a, and do episode. A whole lot, yeah, do a whole lot of talk see if we can smooth our way in. Or we get some credentials. We do some press credentials. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's we talking true. about transforming your life at Comic Con. What <laughs> at Comic Con? What? But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the 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 defenders come together and see what they're planning on doing with that because you know I, I think it's gonna be uh, I think it's gonna be be pretty magnificent. But I want to jump back before we close the the show. I want to go back to the Black Panther. 
you know, well, you know the history of the Black Panther. That is like the first official black superhero yes. ever. So we are talking about, it came out in the 60s around the same time the Black Panthers were out. You know, we're talking about justice here. We're talking about equality. We're talking about civil rights stuff. So they better not marble. If you listening, y'all better I mess this up. Y'all better come correct. Y'all have a lot of black folks. With switches. <laughs> With switches. <laughs> the wet ones. <laughs> do you remember when um do you remember when Malcolm Malcolm X came out and, and when it first came out this is years ago and Spike Lee talked about um people would come up to him in the street and knew that he was just released that he was he was directing um um uh, Malcolm X. Mm-hmm. And people would come up to to him on the street going, Don't you mess this one up. Don't you mess this one up. People come up to him in New York going, you better make this right. Right. Okay, Marble, don't you mess this one up. Oh, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. (laughs) There's going to be some tails whooping. Got to come correct with this one. Um, True inspiration, though. Are you inspired when you check out? I I, I can tell you right now, this is why I'm so into my comic books and cartoons and, and and. and, and watching TV and, and watching going to movies when it's time for a superhero and in computer games because I truly am inspired. Not inspired to knowing the difference between, um, I know the difference between fantasy and reality, and but I am truly, truly inspired. I walk out of those movies going, oh my God, I feel different. Yeah. It's like it's like going to going to a superhero church. Yeah, <laughs> you know I'm serious. People might call me funny, but I'm I'm that much of a superhero fan, and it's not not in the word of fanatic, but someone who really believes and trusts. And I go to that's why I was very disappointed with the new Spider Man. Oops. I have nothing to say. I haven't seen it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, okay, I have okay, not okay. seen it. Um, it was just very much. It was too much. Um, uh, I don't know. It just. I, I'm still. I'll, I'll think on it, and then when I know, I'll, I'll, I'll say what it was. But it just didn't. It was good. Okay. But it wasn't. I didn't walk away going. Hmm. I can't wait to see another Spider Man. Yeah. Okay. I, you very much like some people said about the Superman. So, but I come out being inspired. And you? Me? Um, as far as true inspiration, true inspiration. And when you go when you go and see a oh, superhero film. You know what? With superhero movies, you know, I come out feeling uh, one that it was very enjoyable. Like I feel, I feel very lifted. Like okay, yeah, you know. But what I get inspired about is hearing the stories of the mm. people that play the superheroes and what it took to what make it, it took it yeah. to make it. Yeah. I always, and and for me now, especially yeah. after my transformation last year, yeah, I felt it. Yeah, and it's it. I can only imagine remotely what that person went through mm. to get there. And you know, when you got the guys that are even smaller naturally to build up to right. get there. Right. What did they go through? Yeah, I mean, the transformation, Hugh Jackson's tran- transformation when he plays Wolverine. Yeah. I mean, that is no joke. He said his diet is daily changed because based yeah. off of how he's going to take his shirt off. That yeah, day. exactly. And, um, and he, he talked about, too, that when it's shoot day, it's not a really good feeling day because he's, he's dehydrated, depleted, he's depleted yeah. but he's cut. He's cut, 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 cut. That was the wow. That was a great show, man. Yeah, man. Sound effects and everything. All about the superheroes. I was looking for a sound of uh, like Uh, Superman flying. I I can't find one, but thank God. What? What? (laughs) Stop! Stop! Have too much fun. (laughs) Uh, Okay, listen. When I uh, this is what I gotta say to you. See, so they agree with me. Next they, time we use my computer. <laughs> <laughs> they agree with me. Oh my God, this has been a great show. I've had so much fun with you, Coach KJ. This is great, man. This is great. Where can I we enjoy. find you, brother? The superhero, Coach. the superhero fitness, Coach KJ knows. Where can so we find you? You can find Coach KJ knows. <laughs> On Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> Coach KJ knows on Instagram and Twitter. Coach KJ on Facebook and CoachKJ.com. That's who I am. Flying away. There you away. go. Fly away. Fly away. You can see me. I'm actually, my superhero powers is super shopping. I shop. 
I can take I can take a dollar and I can bring home you a piece. Oh, so there you go. So I'm super shopper. Uh, hey guys, you can find me at skipjennings.com. You can get me on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Skip Jennings. Also, you can find me um, on Facebook, Skip Jennings Coaching, and we can help you find your own personal superhero. So my friends, until next time, we are. I think we're done. What do you think? Hulk <laughs> smash. Oh my God. Say goodbye, Coach KJ. Goodbye, Coach KJ. <laughs>